Welcome back to QuickBooks for Desktop 2023. This is Cindy again. We're working in section seven and we're talking about banking in this section. One of the things I wanted to talk to you real quick about is the bank feed option that QuickBooks has available. If you're using QuickBooks pretty much strictly as a register, you wanna keep track of your expenses that flow through your bank account and your deposits, then bank feeds would be a good option. However, be very, very careful because if you're using invoicing, you're using the bill feature, you're using other parts of QuickBooks, sometimes the bank feed is not your best option. Let's go ahead and head over to QuickBooks and I'll give you a little bit of info on how to get the bank feed set up and then we'll look at downloading transactions over in the next video. If you're wanting to download the transactions from your bank into QuickBooks, you have to go through and set up what are called bank feeds. You're going to go to the menu and click on banking, and then you'll see the option for bank feeds. And there are several different options here. Let me just mention a couple of them. This first one that I'm going to click on in a second, that's your bank feed center. That's pretty much where you manage everything. You might wanna set up a bank feed for an account. That means basically hooking up the bank account to download into QuickBooks. And you can do that from the bank feed center, but if that's your main goal, you've got a quick option to do it there. If you wanna see the participating financial institutions, you can go see a list and it's pretty much every bank. You can also import web connect files. What that means is if you would rather go to your bank and download the transactions into a QuickBooks file, you can do that. You wanna make sure on the bank side when you log in that you've picked the correct date range you wanna download and choose the .qbo. That does stand for QuickBooks Online, but it also works here in the desktop version. Then you'll be able to come in and import that file. Those are the main ones I want you to be concerned with. Let's head up to the Bank Feed Center and take a quick peek at a couple of things. When you're looking at the Bank Feed Center, you have the accounts you've already set up listed here, and you just click on the account that you wanna work with. You can see it's blue, that's how you know which one you're working with. When you first come in, you're not gonna have either one of these because you have to actually add each account separately. You can also add credit card accounts in here too. Any account that you wanna download into QuickBooks. You would go through and click on add an account and it would ask you the name of your bank and it would walk you through the actual login to your bank and then it would be synced. What happens is these are automatically synced unless you've told it not to. This little indicator right here indicates that it's synced with your bank. If you want the latest update, you can click here or you can click right here to sync each one of these. Now that you have your account set up, let's go ahead and move over into the next video and we'll talk about these transactions that you downloaded. How do you work with these and get them pulled over into your accounts over in QuickBooks? If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.